How's it going, Knights of the Round Table? My name is Knight Gamer Rex, and welcome to an indie game called Hyper Bounce Blast. This game is five dollars American or your regional equivalent on Steam. This game came out last month on the 27th of March or uh, May, and uh, the devs were so kind to send me a review key. And I've already played a little bit of the game to get used to the controls, things like that, last night. And... This game is... The, in the email, they said that it was Mario meets Space Invaders, and I find that to be completely false. That That, that is a very horrible explanation of what this game actually is. Uh, I mean, no... Offense to the developers, but that's just that's just kind of like a poor explanation. That's just pretty stupid sounding, really. Um, it's not a platformer whatsoever. It is more like Space Invaders, I guess. You know, I'll just go ahead and show you. Let's just go into the settings real quick to show you the settings. There is quality settings, full screen on or off, backgrounds on or off, lighting on or off, which is very very vague. Uh, hit point color, you can change the color of hit points. Uh, full laser mouse guide, or you can just have it to where the laser is on or off. Music slider, and that's it. No sound effect slider, which is not that, not that good. Uh, you can set keys, rebindable keys, but the controls are simple enough that you can just literally use your mouse and A and D keys. And that's all you need. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and start. And again, devs, thank you again for sending me a game key. It was very, very nice of you. I really do enjoy reviewing these games that the devs send me because most of the time they're pretty interesting and pretty new and something that I never really thought I would put on the channel. So thank you again for sending me the game key. All right, let's go start. All right, we can play classic mode, time rush tournament mode, and the other two are locked. No, I don't think I'll ever unlock them. Uh, we can choose our starting wave, which is interesting. Uh, auto fire normal. Okay, so I can either have it to where it's shooting all the time, or have it to where I hold down the mouse button to make it shoot. Okay, I can you dig that. Alright. And also you can change the aesthetics of the game. To make it kind of weird looking, right? I think that's pretty interesting. Alright, let's play classic mode and start game. Now, keep in mind, this game is ridiculously hard. And I'm gonna take you through the tutorial. Okay, wall jump to continue combos, yeah. Even though wall jumping is pretty useless and got me killed multiple times. Only your flashing center is vulnerable. Shoot red enemies. So you can jump off walls and stuff, and you can jump on blue enemies to continue combos, right? And then whenever you reach the top, you stick to it. Achievement unlocked. Jump around. Or bullets when bounce hyperbar. Oh, so I can absorb bullets whenever I'm higher up. I didn't know that. Okay, I knew it said I could absorb bullets. Bounce higher to increase multiplier. Well, you can only bounce off the wall once. Keep that in mind. So whenever you're bouncing up and on top, right, you can absorb the bullets. Oh, right. Wave 5. Clear green enemies for a star bonus. There you go. Alright, now we should go against a boss soon. Yep, here's the boss. Here's the very first boss. Now keep in mind, I will probably die here because I'm not very good at bullet hell games. And this is like 100% like what bullet hell is. Really. Like eventually he'll like stop shooting. And then like these platforms will come. 
There you go. And that's how you hit him. But keep in mind, he'll start shooting even more. There you go. But, uh, I'm not very good at these sorts of games, right? Oh, look at that combo, though. <laughs> yeah, it's almost dead, but, you know, I can die pretty easily, too. Here I come. Critical. Achievement unlocked. First of many. See, I did... I didn't even know I could do that. Uh, large gems, medium gems. Oh, okay. Perspire to continue. Lives. I had all of my lives. Okay, so the red little circles are my lives, I guess. Don't forget you can wall jump. Yeah, I'm aware. This is weird. This is some weird fucking gameplay, yo. Get these red guys out of the way. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> there was no way out of that. Wave complete for dying. Fantastic. Okay, here comes a little red, dudes. Let's go. Okay, so you have to keep in mind of the loop platforms at the same time as the enemies? That's ridiculously hard, okay? But I guess it's balanced because you can absorb their bullets, like they're fucking nothing, whenever you're, like, jumping on platforms, right? So I have to keep, keep in mind, I have to, like, Damn it, there we go. Okay, get rid of the green. Actually, no, I'm gonna get rid of the red guys first. All right, that would probably be best. There we go. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing right now. I have one life left. Destroy. There we go. Yeah, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing right now, to be honest. Oh, I got another star! This- this sorta- Oh, fuck. This game sorta reminds me of, like, a little thing from Thrillville. If you guys remember that, you know, that game I played a long time- or a few months ago. It got a lot of views. And I've been thinking about- Playing it again. Oh, squish me. That's not very good. Ooh, almost got me there. Okay, so I can use platforms to absorb the bullets. Fuck you, game. Fuck you, game. To absorb the bullets. Okay. That's pretty interesting. Uh, restore from last checkpoint. Right. Is there any way... Is there any way to, like, upgrade the gun? I think that would be pretty cool. I died. Like, I really wish there was some way to upgrade the weapon to where it either did, like, more damage or, like, bigger spread or something. I think that would be pretty cool. Okay, here comes these enemies. Bruh. Ah, shit. I was trying to go for the platform, but it was like, nope. Oh, look at that combo! You see that shit? Get it, get it, get it, get 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 all the greens. Yeah, I got a star. Get these guys over here. 
So I just have to survive for a certain amount of time. This little bar over here is like my survival bar. I'm already at 10% done with this level. Or this wave. But you just have to survive for a certain amount, certain amount of time. It's not really about, like... But once you're in the air, you don't have to worry about enemies shooting you. You just have to constantly be, like, shooting them type stuff. There we go. Beautiful. Shoot it! Thank you. We got three stars. Ooh, almost got me. Ooh, completed it just as I was about to die. Okay, keep the ones below me off. And the game says it's full screen, and yet my mouse still can go outside the boundaries of the game. I must admit that's kind of off-putting. It's kind of disappointing, really. Oh, God. oh, I can ram myself into them. Never, I'm bouncing. And it kills them. Beautiful. Alright, next boss. Let's go. But it, it's one line of code for mouse lock to games. It'd be very nice if the devs would implement that. Because I really don't want to be clicking out of the game. Oh, shit! I knew he was gonna shoot a laser, but I thought, like, fucking hell, dude. Ooh, hi. Damn it, how do you get- you can't get through that. That's kind of bullshit, that boss is kind of bullshit. I gotta admit, that boss is kind of bullshit. Okay. Alright, let's go back to the main menu. And trophies and stuff, okay. Uh, s uh, not settings. Let's see what other kind of modes there are. There's classic, there's shuffle, order, repeat, classic. Oh, these are tracks. Okay, I don't care. I don't care about the tracks, right? Um, tutorials, basic, full. Yeah, I want a full tutorial. I don't want it being, like, really stupid, like... Here, I'm gonna give you little hints on how to play the game. No, I want, like, full hints, okay? Oh, and it starts me back at wave 12. That's very, very nice. Okay, let's go kill that boss. Let's go refight the boss real quick. Oh, but we don't have any of our stars anymore. That's unfortunate. Alright, let's try and beat this boss. Yeah, this one seems a little bit tough, if I do say so myself. It's like, the bullets he has just come off so awkwardly. There we go, there we go, there we go. Ooh, get friggin' known, son! Give me them gems! Oh, fucking what the fuck, your fucker fuck? Okay, just- I'm just gonna try and sit in the middle here. Try not to get hit. I have to, like, really fucking focus, though. There we go, there we go. Yes! Get it, get it, get it, get it! Give me them gems! Ooh, what the fucker? Fucker fuck. Okay, I still have both my lives, at least. But I really don't want to, like, fuck this up and have to redo it. Right. Damn it! <laughs> Just as I say. Oh, okay. Ooh, get it, boy! Oh my goodness gracious. He's angry. 
Why do the bullets sometimes disappear? And why does the frame rate feel like shit? <laughs> Quit spinning! It's weird! It's spinning even faster now! There we go. Ooh, that saved my ass. Oh, I could just shoot it. Okay. There you go! We beat it! Or we beat this, uh, level. Neat. Okay. That's hard. This game is really, really hard. Okay, well, I think this is a good stopping point and a good way to show off what the game really is. We beat two bosses and we beat 12 waves. Okay, so this game is... Again, $5 on Steam or your regional equivalent. Would I recommend this game? Uh, yeah, actually, I would. It's not really my type of game, so I probably won't play it again. Most of these games that these devs send me, it, it's very nice of them to send me their games and all, but most of the time they're, they're just games that I'm not really into, except for Star Wars Rogue. That kind of got me interested, but I recently uninstalled that as well. Um, again... Would I recommend this game for $5? Yes, I actually do recommend this game. It was fun, it is different, it reminded me a lot of uh, Geometry Wars. If you guys don't know what that game is, it is a game where you're kind of like a spaceship in the middle, and then like you're shooting all around you, trying to defeat things enemies and stuff that are coming after you, things like that, and you get upgrades. One thing I wish this game had was, like, weapon upgrades and stuff like that, sort of like Geometry Wars, because that would be interesting, that would be pretty fun. And not only was it already fun, but I think that would make it even more fun, and maybe the developers might implement that into the game. But overall, I enjoyed my time with the game. It was very nice of you devs, again, for sending me a game key. It was very, very nice of you. Thank you again for your time and uh, considering my channel f for advertising your game. It was very, very nice of you. And again, the game is $5 on Steam. You can find it on Steam. It just came out a few weeks ago. So thank you knights so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please remember to hit the like button and also subscribe to become a knight of the round table today. And also tell your friends about me so the channel can grow. And as always, I will see you guys later. Okay, so his bullets protect him. I just need to take my time.